For this week's assignment, here's some more instructions just in case you don't know what's going on. Here is um, this week's date, so click on that. And then watch the instructions and this video on how to complete stoichiometry. Um, and then the assignment, if you click on the assignment, it's these stoichiometry problems. So in the video, I did a couple for you. So when you click it open, I don't want you to put the work on this document. I want you to put it on a separate sheet of paper. And then when you're done, take pictures of your paper and you can submit more than one image on Schoology, so that should be fine. So in the video, I did this problem. So I'm gonna do one more problem. I'll do um, number three with you. So on your paper, do the work for number one, two, and then um, three we'll do right now. So on the Word document, you don't have to rewrite the formula, the equation, but I will because it will help us, it'll help me explain how to do it. So that is the equation and we have 3.4 grams of carbon dioxide and we want to try to find how many grams of oxygen. So here's your problem. Hey mama. So we're gonna start with 3.4 grams of carbon dioxide. And to convert from grams of carbon dioxide to grams of another compound, you always have to convert to moles first. Moles is that bridge to go from one compound to another. So if you start with grams, convert to moles. If this is so many moles, then you don't need to convert to moles because it's already in moles, but this is in grams. So we're gonna convert it to moles because then once we have moles, then we can use the coefficient to convert from one compound to another. So this is still carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide. So one mole of carbon dioxide equals how many grams of carbon dioxide? So to figure out the molar mass of carbon dioxide, that's what you put here. You look at the periodic table, and we did problems like this before. Um, have the periodic table on your, maybe you have the periodic table in your folder, or you have to look at it online. So there's carbon right here. The mass is 12. So there's one carbon atom. And then there's two oxygen atoms. So look at oxygen, the mass is 16. So we're going to add 16 twice. So just take 16 times two, which is 32 plus 12 is 44. So that's the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So that cancels out carbon dioxide, grams of carbon dioxide. Now we have moles of carbon dioxide. That's what we want in order to go from one compound to another. We're trying to get to how many, how much we have of oxygen. So when you have moles, then you can do the molar mass. That is, or the molar ratio. That is the coefficients. There's nothing in front of carbon dioxide, so it's one, and there's two in front of oxygen. So it's a one to two ratio. It's just like last week when you looked at um, some mores, like um, between graham crackers and chocolate, it's a two to one ratio. Two graham crackers and you need one chocolate. So that's what we're looking at here. So if you have moles of carbon dioxide on top here, moles of carbon dioxide go in the bottom. Hey, mama. And then moles, shh, moles of oxygen go on top here. So you have one to go by carbon dioxide and two to go by oxygen. So that is the mole ratio. That cancels out moles of carbon dioxide and what you have left is moles of oxygen. The question is asking for grams. So we have to go one step further to convert moles of oxygen to grams of oxygen. So that is your molar mass. That's what you find on the periodic table. So um, it's always gonna be one mole equals so many grams of whatever compound or element you have. So on the periodic table, we already found oxygen to be 16. Oxygen is a diatomic, it's always in groups of two. So it's 16 times two. There's two there to show you that. So it's 32. That cancels out the moles of oxygen. Now in your calculator, no, I won't turn it that way because I'll mess up my video. You're going to take 3.4 
divided by 44, because it's on the bottom here, then multiply by two, because two's on top, you kind of just ignore ones, and then you multiply by 32, and then there's your answer, grams of oxygen. Okay, the other ones are easier, like the, and then go through four all the way to 10, and look on the video that I did to do the other ones, but this is the hardest one. So like grams to grams is the multiple step one. If you start with moles and you're trying to find grams, then you're kind of starting right here. And then you're just gonna multiply by the mole ratio and then multiply by the molar mass. If you start with moles and trying to get to moles, then basically you're gonna take, you're gonna start here and you're not gonna have this step either. So you're just multiplying by the mole ratio. So those are the three types of problems you'll have. Um, I can um, send out more videos if you have some questions.